just a building. This is home. It's home for the ladies because a lot of them never had a home. Um, they get hot meal. They got a warm bed. Um, lots of love. They're not treated like a specimen or just somebody in a program. We really don't call it a program. This is their safe haven. This is the house for them. We teach them a lot of love, we clothe them, feed them, push them out the door, nudge them, get them, uh, give them really a lot of nurturing because they need mothers. They are looking for love. So what we do, we started, I started here with them, letting them know that I'm moms. A lot of them will call me mom because I guess they never had it. I know it's unprofessional and I used to be telling them, shh, can't call me mom in front of the parole agent, but they don't care. They just run away with it and, and they let their hair down and they open up and really just pour their heart out to me because they feel safe and they're comfortable. And I really like that because I'm here for a purpose and that really is to save a life and to give lots of love and let them know that there are two people that love them. I love them and that God loves them. And once they get that, that they'll be on their way to being a successful human being again. And I really want them to know that they are human beings. They are a flower, very precious. That means so much to me. My biggest fear is of the ladies returning back to prison because they've gotten in trouble by using or made the mistake of using again, of going back into their addiction. And unfortunately, the state cut a lot of funds and the funds they did not put back was for drug treatment programs. I used to um, be here four years ago, and now I'm giving back to the program because the program reached out and um, got me back on the right track. This is my second time coming back with the program, matter of fact, um, to volunteer. I would be a cook in the kitchen, and now I, I work as a staff with the girls. So a lot of women get scared, so that's why a lot of times we use, because we don't want to feel the real us. So that's why we go back out, man. And when we start that, for real, sometimes when you do come into the program, sometimes you force, but you have to come into the program and when you want it. It's just, just like a lot of women don't know. Like for myself, I just got tired. I really got tired. And, and when you say you got tired, you got tired of trying? I got tired of using. Is that right? Really? I got tired of using because Myself, I started using when I was 18, and I was in and out of prison for like 20-some years. I'm 44 now, and I just stopped. A really deep conversion. We'd be Miss Alice, which is our cook. I would preach all day. I mean, we taught love and we taught God. Every day on the menu, there's a, 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 a thought for the day, and it includes God. What God does for us, all the wonder. This is a new lease on life for my ladies. You know, once they come in here get the rules down, and it's not a prison. A lot of people think that it's a prison, but it isn't, it's a home for them. Um, they can talk to us at ease, open up their heart. You know, what I love about it is that the staff takes time to hear their needs, give them a hug without it being called um, sexual harassment. They know that we're here to protect them.